who has the authority to order parliament to be reopened? Only the king. Why? Hello, my name is G.K. Gunnison and this is G.K. TV. Yesterday, the king advised that parliament must be reconvened as soon as possible. Several opposing arguments were advanced against that advice. These were, and I summarize them for you, number one, only the prime minister can order parliament to be reconvened because according to article 40, the king has to act in accordance with the advice of the cabinet. The second argument that as the emergency has not ended, so parliament cannot be convened. The third argument advanced was because the emergency ordinance shut down parliament, it would be illegal to convene parliament. The fourth argument, as soon as possible, means when the government sets the time. All these arguments are wrong. Why? You want a simple answer? I'll give you one. A person who has the power to proclaim the emergency also has the power to end it. Second, the person who has the power to appoint a prime minister has the power to remove him. So long as in both cases, the king acts in accordance with and within the constitution. Who proclaimed the declaration of emergency? The king. In whose name? Are these emergency ordinances made? The king, of course. Who can end the emergency? The prime minister? Are you kidding me? No, but the real answer is a legal answer and it is comprised in numerous parts. The government has actually shot itself in the foot. First, under section 1, subparagraph B, emergency ordinance 20. 21. Parliament shall be summoned on a date the king thinks appropriate. And this is exactly how section 14 sounds. Parliament sitting, sub-regulation 1. For so long as the emergency is in force, sub-paragraph A, the provisions relating to the summoning, proroguing, and dissolution of parliament in the federal constitution shall not have effect and subparagraph b parliament shall be summoned prorogued and dissolved on a date as the young dipartuan agong thinks appropriate there you have it all the king has to do is to appoint a date End of story. No need to ask anybody. The PN government suspended all other powers of parliament anyway. Remember, neither the speaker nor the prime minister have any say in it. If section 14 is legal, that's the way it is. You know why? It was the PN government that created these regulations. Therefore, it shot itself on the foot by making section 14. Section 14 handed over 100% of the power to convene parliament to the king. Article 40 has no role in it. He who makes the bed must lie on it. Somebody please advise His Highness the king. Second, the emergency ordinance is expected in constitutional theory to last only a very short time, usually a few days, for example, in the case of a war which is upon us. Then parliament must meet swiftly and endorse the ordinances made by the emergency government. That is why these regulations are called an ordinance, because parliament has not endorsed the ordinance as an act. The constitution expressly requires this in article 150 sub clause 3. The third point is 
The third excuse is rather as soon as possible means when the government feels like it. This argument is completely wrong. Regulation 14, sub-regulation 1, sub-regulation B of the emergency ordinance, as I said earlier, kills it. Finally, there are important reasons why Parliament must never stop working. First, Parliament is the voice of the people. That must never be stilled. If it is stilled, it means the Rakyat cannot speak. That cannot be. Second, the Constitution's emergency powers under Article 150 expect Parliament to continue its work. This emergency unconstitutionally shut it down. Article 150 subclause 5 allows, indeed requires Parliament to continue to meet to make other laws. The government has not allowed Parliament to do that for reasons no one understands. Whether the emergency ordinance is constitutional is now a major question. And postponing Parliament only confirms and reaffirms the suspicion that the emergency ordinance lacks constitutional legitimacy. As I said earlier, someone please request His Highness the King to look at section 14, subparagraph 1. Goodbye, share, like and subscribe. Thank you and good night.